Ladies and gentlemen, in this Red Gaming Silicon video, let us discuss the recent news that NVIDIA are planning to pull support for DirectX 10 generation GPUs. So just to clarify, DX10 GPUs would be, for example, the 8800 GTX, in other words, 8000 range, the 9000 range, of course, which are pretty much rebrands, and the GTX 260 and so forth. So what they're going to be doing, NVIDIA I mean, is releasing an upcoming driver, which is going to be uh, R340, that's GeForce 340 driver, and that's going to be the last to support the GPUs alongside the current generation DX11. So, for example, if you've got a GTX 480, 580, the 680, or the 780, pretty much exactly the same driver serves you as well as a GTX 80 owner. 8800 owner I'm sorry and this is not going to be the case um, with the 340 release the DirectX 10 generation is now going to become marked as legacy so what this basically means is it's still going to be seeing support using the R340 until um, April 2016 but let's assume there's a really big problem with the driver say for example the, a game crashes horribly or there's a security issue, that type of thing, NVIDIA will likely, not guaranteed, but will likely patch it. So this is very different. Support cycle is very different from end of life or EOL. So for example, let's assume that you're someone who's playing on a GTX 470, so the, four, the 400 range. Well, your card is EOL, it's end of life, it's no longer being produced in terms of production cycle, in other words, NVIDIA aren't creating more of these cards, but it's still current in terms of the fact that they're actually supporting the card. In other words, they are producing drivers, updates for it, which of course will improve the performance in games, and so on. So is this something that you have to be worried about? Not necessarily if you're an owner of these cards. I mean, I don't think many people are still going to be running this. Maybe if you've got like an older gaming machine in your home. Uh, for example, if you've given a car to like, I don't know, your brother maybe, or whatever. Then there's a possibility that some people are still going to be running these 8800s or and so forth. But it's really a smart move on the NVIDIA's part because it's not really realistically possible to continuously support such a wide variety of different pieces of hardware. And so you shouldn't really be mad at them. If you want an example of just how many pieces of hardware are actually being uh, supported, what you can do, you can obviously go to the driver path, like the extracted path when you uh, double click the GeForce drivers, it will obviously extract it usually to C driver, it usually puts them in C drive, NVIDIA, display driver, and then the version of the graphics card, so for example, and you'll notice there's a list of devices, and if you click on that, there are so many different devices which are um, listed in this, so for example, you know, it, it the display list just goes pretty much off the screen it's pages of it and the company only has a certain finite set of resources of course to make sure the driver updates work to make sure that you're getting the best performance out of it and quite honestly speaking a lot of gamers obviously at this point are probably going to start moving from DirectX 10 anyway but I thought I'd produce the video just to let you guys know, just in case you do happen to have a legacy machine. As I said, don't panic. It's not going to mean that your system is going to suddenly stop working or anything like that. It just means that you're no longer going to be getting like large performance upgrades. or um, It basically means you're going to be kind of making do with the performance you've got out of your machine. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.